elixir of health this tea is it for diabetics attention everyone lately there has been a lot of reports to me from my patients fans family in this case my mom actually who's a diabetic you name it about this incredibly strong herbal tea recipe people are claiming it will lower blood sugar levels so dramatically that your a1c will be lower 100 percent and you know what i actually believe them after doing my research and testing on few of the people that i know of and i'm sold it couldn't hurt to give this tea a try and by looking at the satisfied people already boasting its benefits it seems like quite the wise choice so go no further for the elixir of health this very impactful strong herbal tea is it now let's get brewing but hold on not so quick right i need to tell you how it works first you know us doctors like we like to talk a lot and you need to listen because you are a patient we call you a patient for a reason right well i promise it will be only five minute video so don't shortcut that will break my heart this tea has four types of leaves fig leaves white mulberry quince leaves and grape leaves while those who may have been rolling their eyes at the suggestion of a possible miracle tea might be pleased to know that it is made from something a bit more reasonable i'll say let's start with fig leaves recent research suggests that consuming a tea made from dried fig leaves may help to reduce insulin requirements and lower blood sugar levels after eating for even for type 1 diabetes so that's a no-brainer for type 2 because type 1s are harder to treat could this be enough to kick off the latest tea fad only time will tell but claims of reducing need for insulin might hold promise for diabetics yearning for an easy fix now quince it turns out is good for more than just making pies according to recent research this humble fruit or a bit of vegetable i don't know can have a positive impact on cardiovascular related factors such as diabetes blood pressure obesity what's more quince leaves appear to have strong anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties so if you are looking to improve your cardiovascular health you might want to consider adding quince leaves to your diet to your tea now white mulberry might just be the answer also to sweetening things up for people with type 2 diabetes evidence suggests that taking the powdered leaves of this nifty plant by mouth or in your tea or in this case reduces fasting blood sugar levels that's not all white mulberry can also stop post meal blood sugar levels from getting too high while exact dosages and instructions are still being researched researchers are very enthusiastic about the potential of white mulberry as a natural way to bring welcome relief to type 2 diabetics maybe it is time we all brush up on our botany and get better acquainted with tidy little white mulberry right next one is grape grape leaves they're considered a forbidden fruit for as a grape itself but their leafy greens should be definitely given another chance aside from being an excellent source of vitamin e polyphenols the leaves of this juicy berry have been shown to lower blood sugar levels for those suffering from diabetes with such powerful antioxidants under its sleeve grape leaves are a great way to fight off pesky age-related lines and dry skin along with reducing your blood sugar numbers now we get your ingredients and start brewing okay remember to check out our website for very powerful diabetes supplements as well that will actually change your life for those people who hate tea that may be another way to go of course our supplements are way more effective but for tea lovers this recipe is great so rejoice it's easier than ever to get your hands on some wonderful treasures here whether you are buying tried or fresh online or from a local store you can count on finding something of some quality good quality so best of all there is no need to worry about dosing simply brew it as strong as or as light as you like 
So for a reference, a single tablespoon of each tea or combined together per eight ounce should do the trick for most preferences. So forget measuring spoons and tedious instructions. It doesn't get any much simpler. So you bring those leaves together, either fresh or dried, and you can crash the dried leaves as well. All you need is maybe if it is fresh, a handful. If it is dried, maybe a tablespoon amount for eight ounces of water and brew it to your taste. Enjoy it and just give it a chance for two to three months and get your A1C checked again. You will see the difference. Talk to you later.